Okay, so tell us what you've been up to since the last race in Bahrain. Yeah, I've been up to um, continuing my studies in Singapore and also been um, maintaining my fitness level as well. And um, so now I'm back in the UK in the factory of the Caterham and uh, preparing myself for the simulator for the uh, Barcelona Grand Prix this weekend. So is Barcelona a circuit that you enjoy? Um, well, it is one of um, the most challenging track. Um, I would say it's not one of my favorite, but um, I think the track is very challenging. In the first part of the circuit is this a lot of um, high speed corners and um, well, the, the last part of the track it's a lot of um, slow corners so it's a mixture of high speed and also a slow corners balance which is um, which is, I say is challenging. And does the simulator help you prepare for going to the track? We be, I mean is it something that you find really useful? Yeah I think the simulator um, makes me um, prepared before going to this um, going to the free practice one so it is very useful um, to to be to, to be able to refresh um, coming from Bar Bahrain and now it's going to to be Barcelona so it's very useful um, trying to to be prepared and how do you feel ahead of the race I know you had a, a bit of a tough um, finish in Bahrain. It wasn't exactly the weekend that we planned for, but do you feel like you've turned a corner and you feel yeah. like you're going to have a... Yeah, I think Bahrain um, the, in, the, in the race is not where we want it to be, um, but we show that we have potential in the quality and also actually in the first part of the race we were quite strong and until till before I faced um, degradation, degradation on the tyres. So I think we just have to work a bit more and I think the team has been um, a lot of work to analyzing the, the data and also trying to get all the information and find a solution for the, for the Barcelona uh, race. So I believe um, it's going to be uh, better in Barcelona and um, yeah, let's see what we can do. Do you have any words for your uh, fans in English or in Indonesian? Uh, sorry? Uh, in English, yeah. do you have any word for your fans and then in Indonesian? Um, uh, I would say um yeah th uh, thank you for supporting um for for the first race although it's not what uh, we wanted to achieve but i think uh in barcelona we can do much better yeah thanks for following and also for supporting yeah terima kasih atas dukungannya di bahrain di bahrain um um, kurang kurang sukses tetapi mudah-mudahan di Barcelona uh, saya dan tim telah uh, bekerja keras untuk um, mengevaluasi dan juga mencari solusi yang tepat um, buat di Barcelona nantinya mudah-mudahan um, saya bisa sukses mohon doanya dari kalian semua terima kasih